Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are dipping back into the future and we are going to the pre-release of Lost Origin and finding ourselves some pre-release kits. Now I know what you're thinking, is it just going to be build and battle kits? No, apparently not. So what I've been told is that the build and battle kits that I've just purchased that are going to be opened in this video, two of them are right here. Apparently these are 100% pre-release kits and not just build and battle from after release. So I'm banking on that being true and hopefully it is because essentially that means that these should have boosted pull rates and we should be able to find some absolute bangers. So I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to take all these to the corner. We've got five and we're going to crack them open. But before I do, remember that we have a competition running and it will end in November when the release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet happens. To enter, all you've got to do is subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification button so that you guys are aware of the release of the giveaway video in November. That's all you've got to do. Easy peasy. I will see you guys over at the table now when we open up some pre-release kits. See you now. <laughs> Right then, here we have it. We have ourselves five pre-release kits. Now, I've been told, like I said in the intro, that these are definitely pre-release kits and not just build and battle kits. But I don't know because we don't know until we open them. Also, we could just have a really bad batch and not get much from them anyway. So if they aren't pre-release kits, I would assume they wouldn't have the boosted pull rates. But if they are pre-release kits and they genuinely did come from a pre-release event then they should really speak and have boosted pull rates. So having five today gives us a real, real good chance of getting something fantastic. Now, I really am excited to get into these, and I really want to know if I can get all four of the promo cards, because so far we've got Comfy and Gengar. So can we get all four? There's four of them. Four of them, and there's a Machamp. So there is a, sec a third one out of the four. So we have three out of four, and we are looking for... One more. Now, I've never actually opened one of these. I've kept every single one I've had inside the uh, the packet. So, one day, I'm going to open up one and look what are the cards on the inside. What are the cards on the inside? Now, I have got a plaster on my thumb, which means I can't grip on the side of the packaging, which is a bit of a pain in the neck. But I've, uh, I've put an extra plaster over it to make it look a little bit more aesthetic because... It was just like a little open gap. It looked really weird. So I'm really weird like that. I wanted the camera to look good. So having a plaster on, I didn't feel it looked good. So I made it aesthetically pleasing. But I really want to pull something aesthetically pleasing today. Something like this guy right by here. That would be very much... I just went absolutely crazy with my words then. But I would very much like a Aerodactyl or the Giratina. And... Pfft, in all honesty, we are struggling with both. But I've also I've also set it upon myself the challenge of getting the Pikachus. Now I think there's three Pikachus you can get in this set, and I would like every single one of them. So if we can get any of them today, it at least ticks us off the list and we've got the Pikachus. But we have plenty of opportunities. The fact that we have five pre-release kits, and in all honesty, if I'm being brutally honest so far, it doesn't seem like they're pre-release kits because the first one hasn't been the best so far, but we've still got these and the next pack. Mate, we're, we're not doing so well yet, but usually there's one decent pack at least in one of these kits, so hopefully this is it. But if we get nothing from the first box, I think that hope of these being actually pre-release kits goes out the window. So this is where we find out. Are we going to get something here? We haven't even... We have now got at least one of the character arts. Um, I haven't got a sleeve a second, but I'll get them in a sec and we'll do all of them together. But yeah, that doesn't feel very pre release -y. That feels very much like this just might be a uh, a uh, build and battle box, which isn't, isn't fantastic news, if I'm being brutally honest. Right, get into this one. Don't know if I've actually made the right mark there to get into it. I did, just about. Pop out this box. Right. Box number two. Can I'm hoping at least one of these is a pre-release box. If one of them is, I'll be happy. Right, bam. That is all four. We've actually, for the first time ever, got all four promo packs. I'm very much happy with that. And I just knocked over the camera. I'll do this 
at least once a video. So there is four packs there. Has anyone ever opened one of these and got five packs? I feel like it's a mistake that could happen. I mean, I'd, I'd bloody love that. Right, here's the first code for you guys. Come on, give us a super character rare. It is a character super rare, not a super character rare. But any of them will do. I will take any of them. I will even take a repeat of the ones we've got, but I'd prefer not to. We have, I, who have we got? We've got Gallade and we've also got Crobat, I believe. I think those are the two that we have. So we're missing very many. We've only got two. I'm not sure how many are in the set, but I'm, there's always quite a few. So I, I really like any of them right now. But any any character here, there's a Radiant and there's a Drapion V-Star. So, so far, so good. I would say that is a very good start to this box. Was that two packs in? So far, we've got two very decent pulls. The Drapion V-Star, I haven't got yet. The Steelix, we do, but it is a Radiant card, which means any duplications of them. It goes a long way, to be honest. And when it comes to like trying to trade things, I'm going to start trying to go to some trade events. So if I can get some trade events, I'll get some footage of that. But I'll also hopefully find some really cool trades. And that is the aim of the game. I don't really like the idea of selling them or buying them. I think you guys have seen me in the past. I've, I've um denied buying cards. But I feel a little bit like it's cheating. Although... The pull rates do get a little bit frustrating, so it does get to the point sometimes we think, bug it, I'm going to buy it, but I, I haven't done it yet, and that is the uh, the same comfy as the promo card, but once again, one pack with a decent pull is not telling me that this is a pre-release kit, but we've still got three boxes left, so let's get into our third box, where are my scissors, here they are, third box is open, right there, let's get into you and find ourselves something great so far nothing better than i what's better would you say the v-star is a higher grade or the i think the v-star counts as a higher grade with most of the cards but it very much i think depends on the card really uh there is another gengar i'll take a duplicate gengar so there's a gengar pack i'm hoping we can get all four in this one video because i've completed it off video well not off video but in separate videos but if i can get all four in this one video that'll be our first doing that out of many times opening these kits right here is a code for you guys one two three and four to the front i feel like i can see some shininess through the back of the card but if i can that's not a good thing but it also could be a good card and i don't want it to be in bad condition no nope, nothing nothing at all that's fine i'll take that i'm happy for the weird shiny back not to actually have something in it bam Code for you. One, two, three, and four. How many have we got left after this? We've still got two. We've still got two. So there's still, what, eight and then two here. So we've got ten packs left to find something. Very good. Not in that pack. We still have two left in this one. So let's get into this boy and try and find one of the cards that I am chasing. I've still got a good list of cards that we're chasing. So we should really speak in... It's a wide scope. Do you know what I mean? It should be quite easy to at least get one of them. But I'm I'm not doing the best. Right. There's something here. There's something here. There is definitely something here. I, I don't know why, but I thought that was not the, uh, the last card. But it is the last card. And it is a very, very good last card. I'll be honest with you. I'm quite happy with that. Right. Let's get the Fortune or the Miss Fortune Sisters, I apologise, into a sleeve. And they even are going to get themselves... A cheeky little hard case. I had to concentrate then. Sorry, ignore me. I shake a lot when I do it. I get really nervous. Don't know why, but there is the Misfortune Sisters in rainbow form. So that is definitely the biggest pull of the video so far. I'm very, very happy with that one. I don't know how much it's worth monetarily, and I don't know what I did with that pack there. But that is definitely, I'd say, the best pull of the video so far. So can we beat it? With one of the character super rares, and can we beat it with a Giratina or an Aerodactyl? That is the real question. The Aerodactyl is actually an alternate art. Not even, not even going to say anything. Let's get this absolute beast into a sleeve. That is my second one of these. Uh, this one might be a pre-release kit, guys. This one actually might be a pre-release kit because that one, that box was fantastic. Right, I haven't got a hard case in a minute. I'll get a hard case for that in a sec. Um, but while I do that, let's uh, let's tidy up the table as well. Give me two seconds. Right, the Mew is now sleeved. Look how beautiful she is. There is two absolute bangers 
sat right by there. I would say that is a very successful box. That one, those two came from one box. That was literally one box worth of absolute banging holes. Um, and I almost ripped the actual box there. What have I done here? Right, can I get... I'm gripping the actual box now, which is not good. Right, there we go. Let's pull this one. This one is a little bit ravaged, I will be honest. We've ravaged it ever so slightly. Knocking the camera again. They, I really need to invest in a bigger table, I'll be honest. Absolutely massive table I need. Right, there is a Finian. Right, Finian number two. I'm buzzing that we got, I think, every single one of the... Uh... No, 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 no. We need comfy. We need comfy in this box to get all four in this video. So we're doing very well in terms of getting them. But we need one more in terms of the video being a complete set. And that, I don't know why that's so important to me, but I really want that to be the case. Right. There is an energy. I think I saw something weirdly black at the back of this. So I don't know what that was. There was a evolution line right in front of us. C dot, Slugma, Slugma, Upside Down, Delph Fox. Uh, why is it Upside Down? But I will take it. Absolutely take that full art. But I don't know what was going on. It threw me off completely. That's really confusing. Right. Beautiful colours in this. The camera isn't picking up just how vibrant this card actually is. But this is a very, very nice card. Let's chuck her there and try and get ourselves a character super rare. We're still searching. We're four boxes in. We have got three packs left in this box to find one. And we've still got another box. Don't know what's going on. But we haven't found many of the, uh, the gallery cards. We found one, I think. That is it. And there's not one there. Come on, pick up the pace and find ourselves a character super rare. Or just a gallery card, to be honest. I wouldn't mind one right now. I'm not picky. I'm a little bit picky, but I'm not too picky. Let's get something, anything. Ready? Three, two, one. And I don't know why three, two, one from the character should have been where the Zoroark was. But did we get our best pack of the box as the first pack? And it was only a character super. Character full art. What's wrong with me? Lately, I don't know what's been going on, but my mind doesn't work. I say all sorts of words instead of the words I mean. But there's a cute Pikachu. That's a nice Pikachu. Right. Gengar. Character gallery card. I don't know what the specific term is. But there is one of them. And I, I wanted one. And we got one. I got two of them Gengars now, which is that's quite scary. I almost bought one offline. Which Offline or online? Do you say offline or online? Off online, I suppose. You buy something off online or do you buy it offline i don't know tell me tell me in the comments that's one of the weirder questions i think i've ever asked you guys right build a battle stadium the final one and it is not a stadium i don't know why i said it but this got to be a comfy and it flip it l is i can't get it out of the box let me have it right there is a comfy that means all four were acquired in this one video and that makes me a happy happy man right last four packs can we save everything i mean this hasn't been a failure of a video we've got a rainbow and we've got a gold meal but can we pull one of our chase cards in this final box and it matters more because we're chasing it that's why it matters so much it doesn't matter so much i like all the other cards i'm not saying i like them any less but i am chasing these cards and therefore for once, let's get a chase card. I'll take that. That is definitely... That's our first holographic, I think. But I'll take the Leon's Charizard. I don't think I've got this in English. I've got it in Japanese. Um, A while ago. I'm not sure what set it was. It might have even been VMAX Climax. I don't think it was specifically. But it definitely, I got it in Japanese. Can we find ourselves one more big pull, please? It's all prey to the Pokemon gods. Some call him Arceus. Some call him God. Some call him... I don't know. I can't think of a funny name for him. But either way, he's letting me down right now. Let's try and get something in his last two packs. And we'll do the round down in the next pack. But hopefully we can get some excitement for the round down. Because I'm scared. Right, Lampens, Cascoon. Second from last pack. Let's fix our character super rare lost situation i'll take that i don't know why i meant by the lost situation we're we're hunting him he's not lost we haven't found him yet we can't lose something we haven't found yet there's a radiant guard of war this has been a sick opening we've got loads of sick cards and i've been so just brain farty this entire video but it has been an absolute banger of hits but can we finalize this video finalize as well what's going on with me let's finish it with a bang 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching me and putting up with my stupid brain and a, a Zorak V-Star to end it all. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for sitting through this. I've had a brain fart the entire time, but we've come away with some absolute banging cards. The uh, the big hits for the video were definitely these two. 100% these are the biggest hits for the video, but I think generally we've done quite well for the uh, the pulls that we've got. Every pull has been a pretty good pull, so I'm... Uh, I'm a very happy man right now. Ladies and gentlemen, go and have yourselves an absolutely wonderful day. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to enter yourselves in with a chance at getting Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet when they get released in November. And yeah, go and have yourselves an absolutely wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers! If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? It'll help me and Natty continue to do the work that we're doing, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thanks!